What if you had a chance to visit the airport and practice in advance, to go through all the steps ahead of time, and even rehearse getting on the plane? Well, that is exactly what is happening here at YVR. YVR Airport is taking steps to be more inclusive, wrapping up Autism Awareness Month by launching a series of interactive travel videos and giving neurodiverse inclusion training to its employees. Just like we train for safety and security each and every day here at YVR, we also need to train to help and support those who are neurodiverse and on the autism spectrum. It's safe to say the airport can be a stressful environment for anyone, especially challenging for neurodiverse individuals. YVR says the idea of these training videos is to simulate the travel experience from the comfort of your home. Things like check-in, security, and clearing customs after an international trip. The partnership between YVR, Pacific Autism Family Network, and Aid Canada will take passengers through a curb to cloud experience, an online course with interactive videos for neurodivergent individuals to limit anxiety and increase preparedness. Falaki Williams knows the challenges that can arise traveling with her four year old son, King, who has autism. He's attached to an item, for example, his comfort item, and you know, they want to go through a security check, which, which we understand as the protocol, but you know, the challenge is trying to get that away from him, and he's screaming and flailing on the floor because he's, you know, trying to process what's going on, and so many different checkpoints, so many of these things, taking it back, giving it back to him, that sort of thing. The travel interactions can be really challenging for our neurodiverse community. And for many, that actually means that travel stops, full stops. 26 training sessions have already been done with staff members at YVR. Members of the CBSA are also taking part in the sessions. It just means a lot when people go out of their way to educate other people on what it's like to be autistic um, rather than always us having to explain because it's it's hard and it's laborious sometimes for me it's one of my main interests but it's not for everyone and so when we all make efforts to learn what it's like and our lived experience and then we share that with the world so that we don't always have to now that there's these videos to prep them or prep myself then both parties can understand you know what is happening so they know how to help on their end and I know that there's this help coming on my end and it's not so daunting and that will encourage me to you know take him on more trips as opposed to just oh this is going to be a hassle let's just not do this in richmond kate walker city news